The contenders for the battery drain test today are the Huawei Mate 20X with a whopping 5,000 milliampere battery. Then we have the Honor View 20 with a 4,000 milliampere battery, which is still impressive. And alongside it, we have the Galaxy Note 9 with the same 4,000 milliampere battery on the View 20. Then we have the OnePlus 6T with a 3,700 milliampere battery not far behind. Then we have the Lenovo Z5 Pro with a 3,350 milliampere battery. And last and certainly least, we have the Mi Mix 3 with a 3,200 milliampere battery. Let's see how these beasts of phones stack up against each other. Guys, this is Tech Nick, and without further ado, let's go. So the first thing that I did this time around is get a lux meter so that I could measure the brightness on all the screens at exactly the same. Well, I got them pretty similar anyway. Uh, the View 20 does have an LCD panel as opposed to the rest running an AMOLED panel, so it is a bit different here. So the, the brightness is not necessarily set to the max. Now, I have done this, I have set this to an interval timer. So at the top right, you can see the interval timer based on the percentages that you see above each phone. And as you can see, I have turned on all of the battery consuming functions that there are and connectivity issues that you see there that you would usually turn on. I've also set this displays to full HD, including the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, since it has a native resolution of Quad HD 1440p, but it has been set to 1080p as per the rest of them. So on the 15 minute mark, you can see 99% on the Mate 20X, 98% on the View 20, 97% on the Note 9, 96% on the 16, 95% on the Z5 Pro, 94% on the Mix 3. None of them are doing too bad. They're all well above 90% on the 30 minute mark here, as you can see. So as I mentioned before, the interval timer at the top right, take note of that when you're looking at the percentages, since it takes a hell of a long time to make this kind of video. So let me know what you guys think of this new implementation of the video so that I can change it up going forward or keep it the same. So on 48 minutes, you can see there 95 on the Mate 20, and 92 on the View 20, 92 on the Note 9, 95 on the 16, 93 on the Z5 Pro, and 92 on the Mix 3. They're all still well above 90%, which is good. And the Honor View 20 and Note 9 are exactly the same, given that they are both 4,000 milliampere batteries. And the Z5 Pro is actually doing pretty well with 90% there. Uh, actually the same as the Note 9 with a battery capacity 650 milliamps bigger. So now we are on Shazam. Uh, I don't have an apps list here, but I will try and put one in the description down below running from the first app to the last app uh, so make sure to check that out now on the one hour six minute mark just over an hour you can see they're still doing pretty decently with the view 20 actually dropping kind of disappointingly even though it has a seven nanometer chip but bear in mind it does have an ips lcd display which does drain the battery slightly more but the may 20x has the biggest screen of the bunch 7.2 inches as opposed to the rest around 6.4 inch mark uh, so you would expect it to drain a little bit more but that's why it comes paired with a huge 5000 milliampere battery to keep the juice going there now after an hour and 30 minutes you can see they all drop below 90 percent with the mate 20x and one plus 60 in the lead with 88 percent the rest pretty much 84 83 um, percent that's kind of expected here since the 60 has such great optimization with its phone since it's running almost stock Android here, but it does have its 10 nanometer chipset. So talking about the chipsets here, we have a seven nanometer chipset in the May 20X and the View 20, both with a Kirin 980, which is the latest of the bunch of these. Then we have an Exynos 9810 chip in the Note 9, which is a 10 nanometer chip, and the 6T, Z5 Pro, and Mix 3 all have 10 nanometer chips. The 6T and Mix 3 both have Snapdragon 845 chipsets in them, and the Lenovo Z5 Pro has a Snapdragon 710 chip in it, which is just above average chipset there now you could see after the two hour 30 mark interval at the top there 76 percent on the 20x 70 percent on the view 20 71 percent on the note 9 77 percent on the 6t 72 percent on the z5 pro and 72 percent on the mix 3 the mix 3 and the z5 pro are pretty much on par here since they have relatively similar battery sizes and you can see that the honor view 20 and note 9 has the same point there with very similar scores as well what is impressing me here is the 6t with its 77 percent battery life which is actually done better than the mate 20x even though it has a thousand three hundred milliampere batteries less here um, so that is impressive to say that least now after three hours you can see they're all uh, below 70 percent here and the honor view 20 and note 9 and mix 3 are almost hitting that 50 percent mark which is kind of disappointing for the view 20 because of that seven nanometer chip but remember the lcd panel does affect that but it does have a 4000 milliampere battery so it should be slightly better than the mix 3 here considering it has 800 more milliamps 
powering it. So you could see I'm on Helix Jump here at the moment. And after three hours and 30 minutes, the Onaview 20, the Note 9, and the Mix 3 have all dropped below 50% with 42%, 40%, and 42% respectively. The Mate 20X is 56% on three hours, 30 minutes, and 60, 51%. Lenovo Z5 Pro is actually really impressing me here with 54%. That is mad, guys. I can't believe that this 3,350 milliampere battery is only just 2% behind the top dog Mate 20X here with a 5,000 milliampere battery. That is a 1,650 milliampere difference between the two phones, yet it is doing so well, even with an AMOLED screen. And the same Lux score that we have going on there with the same brightness across all the devices. Now, if the brightness does look slightly off, it is because the panel on the Samsung does look slightly off compared to the rest because of its saturation. And the Honor View 20 has an LCD display, so naturally it, things don't look as bright, though I assure you that the brightness is set equally on all the devices. Now, after the four hour mark, you can see the Mate 20X is still 50%, 4% behind with the 6T and only 2% behind with Lenovo Z5 Pro. Like I said, I'm pretty impressed with this. And 35% on the Honor View 20 and 35% on the Mix 3, 26% on the Note 9 now. You can see that all the phones are now well below the 50% mark and the mate 20 has hit it there with four hours four hours and 31 minutes with 46 percent there 28 percent on the view 20 26 percent on the note 9 41 percent on the 60 41 percent on the z5 pro matching the 60 and not far behind the 20x and 32 percent on the mix 3 which is not doing too bad either considering it has the smallest battery of the bunch then when you look at the scores after four hours and 48 minutes you can see 43 percent on the 20x and just five percent behind we have the z5 pro and the 60 at 38 percent which is really impressive here guys uh the view 20 and note 9 are kind of disappointing me now uh with 24 percent and 22 percent respectively even though they have the second biggest batteries on this test that we have over here 18% and 16% on the View 20 and Note 9 respectively that is really not doing well for these two devices though the Note 9 is doing slightly better than my last drain test due to its Pi update that recently jumped onto my phone. Thank God for that. That's pretty great. I'm really enjoying it. I have also set all the dark modes off of these phones, so they're all on bright modes to keep things as even as possible. Now going on to flip diving after the five hour mark, you can see that they are all well below the 40% mark. The Mate 20X closest to the 40%, but the Note 9 on 12%, the lowest of the bunch, even though it has the second highest battery capacity over here. 7% now on the Note 9 after five hours and 30 minutes, and it actually capped out in my last test around this time here. So so it's doing a lot better than that and that's thanks to the android 9 pi update um, you can see that the view 20 is not too far behind the note 9 there with nine percent but the 6t and the Lenovo z5 pro are doing pretty well with 27 percent and 26 percent the mix 3 actually doing pretty impressive with 14 percent even though it has an 800 milliampere difference between the note 9 and on a view 20 and it is doing better here the may 20x is just knocking things out the water with 32 percent but not by that much considering the 6t and Lenovo z5 have a pretty darn big gap between the battery capacities here and they're holding up quite well i must say all of these devices are running android 9 pi except for the lenovo z5 pro which has not got the update yet it is still stuck on android 8.1 oreo so you could see there that the view 20 knocked out at 5 hours and 54 minutes and the note 9 just nine minutes behind it at six hours and four minutes which isn't that impressive but it is still really good battery life and you'll get well over a day of use from either of these top dogs here guys they are still impressive phones and they have still done pretty well in my test over here and then you could see that the next to knock off here is going to be the mix 3 and though it has a 6 3200 milliampere battery it knocked out at 6 hours and 26 minutes which is brilliant a lot pretty much an hour better than the last test that i did on this phone uh you can check that video out i'll pop a card above um but i'm pretty impressed with that it's probably due to some updates but i couldn't really see the battery percentages that well through the video because they took that feature out for some strange reason uh, but anyway you could see a 6 hours 40 minutes 17 percent on the 20x 12 percent on the 6T, 11% on the Z5 Pro. The Z5 Pro and 6T just aren't letting up. They're just trading blows with the 20X here. It's really impressive. Uh, I did put performance mode on just before a couple games earlier, and I have left it on until the end of the video just to drain these out as much as possible. So you're looking at around 30 minutes to an hour of more on these last three devices here especially the 20x and the 60 goes down there shutting down at seven hours and three minutes that is really impressive an hour better than the last test that i did for this phone and it is because of the ota updates and then obviously the brightness is slightly down i'm really impressed with the z5 pro here just two percent behind the mate 20x with a 1650 milliampere difference and you would think that there's a second place here but there's actually two first place since they both clocked in at seven hours and ten minutes that is impressive to say the least here guys so in last place 
place, sick place, we have the Honor View 20 with a 4,000 milliampere battery knocking out at five hours and 55 minutes, which is still impressive. They're all done really impressive and they're all clocked out pretty much within an hour of each other, but this is the lowest of the bunch. Next, we have the Note 9 in fifth place with six hours and four minutes, which has the same battery capacity as the View 20, but with the Pi update, it did do slightly better than the last test that I did for this phone. Then in fourth place we have the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 with a 3200 milliampere battery, 800 milliamps below the rest, below the Note 9 and the Honor View 20. And 6026 minutes is actually really damn good for that phone. The OTA updates are doing justice for this phone to say the least in the 6t in third place with seven hours and three minutes which is still really impressive considering it is 300 milliampere's behind the note 9 and view 20 but it's still clocked out an hour after those devices i'm really impressed with what oneplus are doing with their pretty much stock android and you would expect there to be second place but actually there is first place here both seven hours and ten minutes on the z5 pro and the mate 20x i'm really impressed with the z5 pro here guys the 20x still did a good score here but with a 1650 milliampere difference between the two i can't believe it seven nanometer chip and an average 10 nanometer chip on the Z5 Pro. I hope you enjoyed my video. Until next time, guys, this is Technic.